Hello friends, in this video we can solve the uh, Guwahati University paper uh, for physics honors uh, electricity and magnetism for se uh, second sem. This is second sem uh, of 2022 and uh, let me tell you one thing that I'm not going to solve all the problems in the same video. Okay, so remaining questions will be solved in next parts. I will complete this paper in three and four videos and uh, this is the first part and next video uh, when it will be uploaded it gonna appear in the uh, at the end of the screen okay if not uploaded it will not appear but uh, when it will be uploaded uh, then it will appear in the end screen okay so this is uh, electricity and magnetism and uh, let me tell you one more thing and uh, actually i request you to subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and uh, please share with your friends and inspire me to create new contents for you okay so and also hit the thumbs up button if you like my videos so now let's uh, start so here is the first question give one example where the electric potential is zero at a point or line but electric field is not zero okay so electric potential is zero and electric field is not zero so here you see so we can take the example of a dipole right this is positively charged and this is negatively charged and uh, separated by a distance of twice as opposed in that case then uh, electric field due to this negative charge will be in this direction let me take as e negative okay because it should be inward for negative charge and outward for the positive charge so that's why uh, e positive will be also in this direction that's why resultant e resultant e will be equal to e positive plus e negative and that's given by that's the given by uh, if the charges are q positive q and negative q then it will be k q by a square plus k q by a square and that's going to be uh, 2k q by a square right and here electric field is not equal to zero now if you calculate the potential so potential due to positive charge v positive will be uh, kq by a and uh, v negative will be uh, negative kq by a for opposite nature of charges but in case of electric field it doesn't happen so that's why if you add uh, this v positive and v negative to get the final v then you will get uh, v positive plus v negative that's going to be equal to kq by a minus kq by a that's going to be equal to zero right so this is uh, this is going to be the perfect example so you can write here answer so so here is the answer so electric potential at the center of an electric dipole is zero so here we have got zero and uh, but electric field is not zero so electric field is not zero this is the electric field we have got so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next question so what is the conservative nature of electric field okay so let me write the answer so here is the answer b of question number one conservative nature of electric field means uh, that the work done to move a charge from one point to another point is independent of path right but it uh, depends only on the initial and final position of the charge so this is the conservative nature now let's move on to next question so here is the next question c if the surface charge density of an infinite thick sheet so you have a sheet uh, like this suppose and it is infinite thick so this thickness is infinity right so and uh, its surface charge density is sigma and minus q amount of charge is deposited onto the on the sheet then what amount work uh, will be done okay so that will be infinity right so because uh, here you see w is equal to you know in this case uh, we have negative charge so it's going to be minus q uh, infinity to r that means uh, here is the electric field dr so this is the work done uh, to bring a surge from infinity from infinity uh, to a point to a point uh, which is at a distance of r uh, 
from this uh, sheet but uh, now we are to deposit into the sheet right here sorry right so in this case this uh, r will be zero and if you find that uh, infinity to zero and Electric. this electric field is uh, given by sigma which is the surface surface density divided by 2 epsilon naught right 2 epsilon naught dr right and if you integrate it then you must get minus q sigma 2 epsilon uh, infinity minus r here r is zero in this case as you want to deposit this uh, minus q stars into the sheet which is uh, if you want to deposit into uh, this sheet then that will be zero distance from the sheet right so so infinity minus zero that's going to be infinity and infinity into anything is infinity so our answer will be infinity so hope you have understood this so here is the next question what is displacement current so this is the answer so this is the current uh, this is the quantity appearing in maxwell's equation that can be defined as the rate of change of uh, electric displacement field that means uh, now you see suppose uh, this is a capacitor and these are the two plates of capacitor and it is connected to an electric source right here this plate is connected to the positive terminal and this one is connected to the negative so then what will happen the plate which is connected to the positive terminal uh, on that plate the positive charge amount of positive charge will be increasing gradually not suddenly okay and similarly on this plate negative charge will be also increasing and due to increasing due to increase in electric charge on both plates there will be change in electric flux and due to this elect uh, you know change in electric flux there will be a current right that is called displacement current so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next question so this is the next question what is electric susceptibility so here is the definition electric susceptibility is defined as the ratio of the polarization to epsilon not times the net electric field so this is permittivity of free space right so here you see the polarization this is directly proportional to the electric field right so we can write epsilon naught psi e into e right and this is nothing but electric susceptibility so this is the next question define curie temperature the temperature at which certain magnetic material undergo a surf change in their magnetic properties the temperature is known as curie temperature right so now what is the next question let me see so this is the next question define intensity of magnetic field in tesla that means uh, when the magnetic field or uh, when the intensity of magnetic field will be called one tesla right let me write that the field intensity generating one newton of force per ampere of current per meter of conductor is called one tesla so this is one tesla right then it's called one tesla so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next so here is the definition of electric dipole moment so it is nothing but uh, uh, vector quantity so let me explain uh, what is uh, dipole moment suppose here you see this is dipole consisting two charges minus q and plus q right this is a dipole and they these two charges are separated by a distance twice a right twice is then dipole moment the direction of the dipole moment which is denoted by p is along negative to positive uh, charge and its magnitude its magnitude is given by the q times of the uh, you know separation between the two charges 
right so this is the magnitude of this uh, dipole moment and uh, the direction is this negative to positive charge so here is the question i of question number one state lens law of electromagnetic induction which states that uh, an induced electric current flows in a direction such that uh, the current opposes the change that induces it that means suppose we have a coil here this is a coil right and a current is induced in this coil due to the motion of this magnet okay so this this is coming in and going away in that way it is moving right due to that motion the electric field through the coil will be changed and which is responsible for the induced current in this coil now you see when you bring this coil sorry uh, the magnet this is the north pole of the magnet towards the coil then the induced current uh, the current uh, in this coil will be induced such a way that this coil will oppose this magnet to come uh, to, to uh, this uh, it, it will oppose the, the you know magnet to coming in right that means uh, you are bringing the north pole right so it will act as north pole so that it will repel that right and again if you again if this uh, north pole is moving away suppose if this magnet is uh, being moved away then uh, then this coil this induced emf uh, you know the uh, current induced in this coil such that uh, it will uh, this coil will act in such a way that uh, it will appear as south poles that will try to uh, stop this magnet going away from this coil so hope you have understood this lens law right so now let's move on to next question so here you see what is mean by paramagnetic material that uh, those materials having permanent magnetic dipoles are attracted by magnetic field are called paramagnetic materials so these are the uh, you know uh, one marks questions of question number one that i have uh, solved in this video and remaining questions will be completed this paper will be completed in uh, within three or four videos okay this is the first part so wait for the second part when it will be uploaded okay when the second part will be uploaded that will appear at the end of uh, this video uh, so hope you like this video and if you think my videos are helpful then share with your friends hit the thumbs up button and if you're new to my channel subscribe the channel stay connected for the next video so see you in the next video thank you for watching